Thinking back, it started when I was very young, just loving nature and, and how we're so a part of it, but feel pretty separate from it. When I was actually in a nursery in Hawaii, I first came across Tillandsia, and seeing that they didn't need soil, they had these charismatic forms that were so interesting and sculptural, and that there were over 600 different species, I was totally hooked and immediately started trying to collect them. After college, I worked at the Chicago Botanic Garden, taking my love of plants and trying to figure out what to do with it. And while I was there, there was a landscape architect that visited for a lecture. I thought, this is an amazing profession I didn't even know existed. And so I went to get a master's degree in landscape architecture. And uh, after that, came out to California. And throughout this whole period, I continued to just be obsessed with plants and Tillandsia in particular, and growing collection and trying to figure out fun ways to use them. During the course of my landscape architecture work, we worked with a wonderful client who, after their garden was complete, said, I also love Tillandsia. I would love to do something unique and different with them. And so that was sort of the birth of Air Plant Man, in a sense. Um, it took my Tillandsia-obsessed self and, and made it into um, something creating a unique way to display and enjoy these. And that was where the air plant frame first originated and we created a really beautiful installation for her. And I thought to myself, now we've worked out some of the basics of this in a custom project, maybe we can do this with a slightly larger scale and sort of offer the general public the ability to enjoy these plants too. Over the years, we've had the opportunity to do a really fun range of both residential and commercial projects, um, working in office buildings, retail spaces, and uh, hotels as well. Each project is different. You get different personalities, different design aesthetics, different environmental and space constraints. And so um, I love working with everyone to kind of find the best solution and then working with them over time to make sure the project continues to look wonderful. There is something about caring for a plant, observing it, watching when it goes down or gets better that I think is something people really miss these days in society. And so it's a wonderful thing to offer this plant that's kind of very adapted to our modern lifestyle of moving around a lot in smaller spaces. And there's something about the lack of soil that really captures the imagination. So people give it a second look. It's not that same plant that they've seen a million times and it's just green plant and the brain shuts off. There's something different enough that makes people look twice. And it's that kind of sense of wonder with children and adults, and you see it in all of them, that, wow, nature is still surprising. And that's, um, that's something I, I like sharing, yeah.